Okay, we're gonna open up our A spec by double clicking it on the left pane. In the A spec, you'll see that it's blank since we don't have any components created just yet. Go ahead and add, or you can come down here and go through the drop downs. When you go to add, you'll pick a category, you'll pick a type that falls under that category, and then a data table associated with that type. So in this case, a uh, cap threaded 3,000 pound. Uh, you can delimit a size range by going to the drop down and unchecking the sizes you don't want that are available, or you can simply state it as a text in, for example, 0.5 to 2 inches. Okay, we already have the the spec name and the color index that are associated with this spec. Okay, um, you don't need to change the identifier; we'll just put in the default one that's in the program. You can get it to match the pipe that's going to be connected to, or pick out something explicitly. We can say extra, extra strong for this. Uh, if if the material is available, you can put it. If not, then uh, you can leave it as a, a blank or a generic, or go to the material setup and set up the right material. Okay. Uh, down here we have using specification format. What that means is that if you don't put anything in here, it's going to look to up here, the long description format, and it's going to pull from there. I'll show you that in a second. Let's go ahead. And, okay, everything's filled out that we need. Go ahead and click Add. Okay, as you see up here, it just puts in some generic information that's coming from the data tables. If you wanted to change that, come here. Now I click the dot to dot from the long description setup. Uh, here we come to caps. This one is a threaded cap. And this is the canonization. So it's putting in component type cable. So the components uh, component table. It's main schedule. So that's over here. Extra, extra strong. As you can see that generates there. Description component table. Uh, I don't think we have cap underscore TR for its... Uh, the name of its data table and the table material table which we don't have anything in there that's why it just says mat okay so if you wanted to change that put in length or short description component table you could do that and then that would apply to all caps that you leave out blank. Uh, unless you have the time or the client pays for it uh, we're not going to be doing that most of the time you'll still be doing the older format Strong uh, schedule, I say 3000. Okay. Make sure that if you're ever making changes to a component, that you click on the component first. Schedule to say extra strong. Uh, okay. Of course, that's a reduced version of what you'd actually put, but just for the example, that's what we're showing. So I clicked apply and it's in the spec. Now, before you assume that this is all good to go, uh, you either need to save here or preferably at the drop down on the top, save. Now that cap has been added to the A spec.